Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Almighty God and the Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the grace and opportunity you have given unto us once again to listen to your word. We ask, O oh Lord God, that even as this word will come forth, that Lord, you minister to our hearts, to our spirit, and to our soul. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You are welcome to today's edition of the Daily Foundation, Daily Fountain. Today's date is the 17th of October, 2018. And the, the theme of our study today is back up your plans with actions. And the text is taken from Nehemiah chapter 2, from verse 11 through to 20. I read. So I came to Jerusalem. I was there three days, and I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night, by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dunk pot, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went I up in the night by the brook, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, or what I did neither, had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then I said unto them, You see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem light waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he has spoken unto me. And they said, let us arise and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Sambalat the Oronite, and Tobah the servant the Ammonite, and Geshem the Arabian heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us, and said, What is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then I answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. But you have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. The theme for today is back up your plans with action. Planning is central to success of any endeavor on earth. To plan is to have an idea of how to do something in an organized way. When we fail to plan, invariably, we have planned to fail. In our test, Nehemiah did not jump at the project of rebuilding. Having received divine favor, he went to Jerusalem and waited for three days, after which he traveled at night to examine the extent of damage on the walls of Jerusalem before embarking on any repair. Having been adequately equipped and relevant information, he called the people, he challenged them to action about the rebuilding of the fallen wall of Jerusalem. The result was impressive. The people agreed to the project, that is in verses 17 and 18. Many Christians have plans about their future and pray about it, but scarcely support same with actions. As a result, nothing positive comes their way. Many do not have plans at all. They expect miracles to happen suddenly. Do not be deceived. God gave you all that is necessary to make adequate planning for your great future. A good number of employable youths are outside there, not learning any trade or making efforts to be educated. Procrastination has become the cemetery of their future. Let us learn from Nehemiah and Moses. The Lord said to Moses in Exodus chapter 15 verse 16, and I quote, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. 
But lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Moses acted up after the instruction and the sea was divided. Back up your plans with actions and you will be glad you did. Let me begin by saying that any journey in life without a destination is a journey in frustration. No wonder Joshua said in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he said, this word of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate upon it day and night. But what is key is that you must observe to do according to all that is written therein. He said, then you will make your way prosperous. He said, then you will have good success. Success in life is not based on pedigree, but predicated on spiritual pedigree. No one succeeds in a serious vocation or industry without adequate preparation. No wonder George Foreman, the legendary boxer, he said, he said, boxers are not made in the ring. He said, they are made outside of it. From the story we read, Nehemiah got the news of the destruction of Jerusalem, the walls of Jerusalem. When he heard about it, he was distressed. And he thought to himself, I must do something. He didn't just sit down idly, praying or doing anything. He prayed to God of Israel and said, God, if you can help me, I want to do this. And God now laid it upon the heart of the king, King Atasasis. It was before him as a, as, a, as a wine dresser. And the man asked him and said, why is your countenance falling? <laughs> and Nehemiah told him and said, why would, would I not be distressed? He said, the wall of Jerusalem is broken. My people are distressed. And the king said, what can I do? And he said, give me leeway so that I could go and rebuild. He didn't stop at that. Nehemiah went all out. He went all out, he went to survey and he made plans and he made his action. Success in life or attainment of set goals is predicated on the coordination of resources of man, money and machine through the functions of planning, coordination, directing and controlling. You don't get to the place you decide to get to until you have initiated plan. Anyone who failed to plan as planned already to fail. From the story of Moses that we read, when the Israelites, when they led the land of Egypt, God led them, even as they were going to the promised land, the Bible makes it clear that the host, the chariot men of, of Egypt, they were pursuing them with the purpose of terminating the God's desire and God's plan for their life. The rest was in front, the host, the chariot men of, of, of Pharaoh, they were at their back. And Moses said, what are we going to do? Because the Israelites, they were now crying. They were shouting that, why did you take us away from Egypt? When you knew that you were going, we going to be destroyed, even here. Then Moses told them, and said, stand still. And God said, no, I didn't call you to stand still. I didn't call you to a life, to a life of idleness. I am calling you to a life of action. God told him and said, move forward. Brethren, nothing happens until you move forward. Nothing happens until you take action. And to the children, to the utter surprise of the, of the, of the Israelites, the moment they stepped, the moment Moses stretched out his, 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 his rod onto the Red Sea, the Bible said the Red Sea parted. And when the Red Sea parted, what happened? Almost immediately, there was, there was the, the God made a way where there was no way. They passed through that water. God made a way, God only made a way the moment they moved forward. When you move forward in life, you are partnering with God. You are provoking God into action. Planning is very essential to life success. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. He said, And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heirs of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Let me conclude by telling, letting you know that success in life is not an accident. Success is predicated on attitude, and attitude is a choice. As attitude is a choice, so is success a choice. Success is a matter of attitude and not chance. A planless life that is, is laden with disappointments and failure. It is my prayer that even as you have heard the word of God today, you will not only sit idle, you will not begin to procrastinate that will be better tomorrow. You are going to take proactive action towards getting to your destination. And as the Lord liveth, you are going to celebrate. 
you are going to rejoice and your end shall be better. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word that has come forth. We pray, Lord, that you help us to do what is needful to the praise and glory of your holy name alone. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.